All right, guys, so continuing the series of uh, solo drills, um, we were doing some stuff in the center of the mat, you know, particularly incorporating uh, certain drills that we use in our warm ups here at class to help keep us limber. Um, if you have the luxury of a wall and some space that's free at home next to a wall, we have some more drills that can help, you know, uh, assist you in developing your posture and your mobility and your flexibility. So here's a couple things I like to do just messing around at home. So here's some stuff we can do using a wall and an empty space in front of that wall at home. Okay, I'm going to start with a seated posture drill where I'm going to be seated in front of the wall. I'm going to tuck my heels in as close as I can to my butt. Okay, I'm going to keep the back of my head and my lower back as close to the wall as possible. And breathe. When I breathe, I want my air to fill up my lower stomach and extend my entire abdomen and chest area. I like doing this actually after a hard day of training or after a hard session to kind of settle and balance all my muscles back into place or at home if I'm just trying to loosen up, I'll, I'll get into this position. An additional posture from here, we're going to extend our feet in front of us, right, open them out, okay, try to keep our butt against the wall, back of our head to the wall, toes up, pointed towards us, legs straight, you know, keeping that good stretch, supporting the knees from the inside and holding. All right, those are two easy ones with our back to the wall. And I want to scoop my butt forward a little bit, right? Working on some hamstring flexibility. I'm going to make contact with the wall, laying completely flat. I'm going to bring my feet up just to touch the wall where it's, you know, fairly comfortable. Okay, from here I'm going to start walking and inching my toes down, closer, closer. As I do that, I exhale, expelling the air from my abdomen and get as close to the mat as possible, if not all the way to the mat. Okay, find a comfortable spot and anchor. Once my feet are anchored, I'm going to work on maintaining one foot anchored, bringing one foot out and stretching without losing the anchor. Coming back, placing it next to the original anchor, outstretching the foot without losing the anchor and coming back. Repeating this for about 10 to 15 reps, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, next I turn facing the wall. All right, I want to get, not necessarily, it's easier if I'm not facing the wall actually. I want to turn with my butt next to the wall. Okay, I'm going to lay to my back, bring my legs up and over, and use this kind of gravity stretch. You know, if you guys like being on Instagram, following videos on Instagram, you're reviewing technique on your phone or whatever, you know, you can do that in this position. Your back is going to be straight. Your butt is completely in the corner of the wall and the floor. Right, my hamstrings are out. Gravity is kind of just letting them dangle. I'm still mindful of my toes. I want my toes pointed towards me, and I'm just relaxed in this position, keeping my spine straight against the, the floor. Okay, from there, bring my hands under my knees, bring my heels to the floor, and start bringing my heels as close as possible to my butt while keeping my butt connected to the wall. Okay, and then I'm able to get a really nice hip groin stretch over there and control my breathing. And like I said, all of this can be done while messing around on, on the phone, you know, doing following up. Uh, current events. Sometimes I'll watch TV. The TV will be above me. I'll be watching TV, just sitting, stretching against the wall. All right. And then the last drill that we're going to show against the wall is going to be a movement drill where we kind of put all these elements together and work from inversion back into regular guard, back into inversion. Okay. So we're going to start at the edge of the wall where you have about, I don't know, 10, 15 feet of space to work. All right. We're going to be facing the wall. We're going to bring our elbow underneath while one toe anchors into the wall. My head goes where? Closer to the wall, right? Where the wall would be. And my other foot is going to pendulum over and around and make contact as the new anchor. Next, my original foot's going to come off. It's going to whip around and get me back to my seated guard. Okay, so let's look at that again. Invert, anchor, pendulum, and then swing again.
Notice how my arms assist with the momentum. 